I'm having a hard time deciding what to start this off with. It was easy with some of our other race characters, but I'm having a tar hard time going between either saying for the Calderai or for Elune or for Sonarius. And I'm just like, hmm. I'm not really fond of any of those. Uh, actually, perhaps, given what we know happens in BFA, though at this point I think Blizz is trying to play it down and almost trying to, you know, make us forget about it, I guess instead we should say for Teldrassil, and more importantly for all those who died at Teldrassil. After years of imprisonment within the Emerald Nightmare, Arc Druid Malfurion Stormrage has finally returned to the mortal world. Reunited with his love, Tyrande Whisperwind, Malfurion endeavors now to heal the corrupted world tree Teldrassil and rejuvenate the spirit of the Night Elf people. Yet as the great cataclysm shakes the boughs of their colossal tree, the Night Elves brace themselves against the coming storm as war and destruction close in from all sides, it falls to night elves like you to stand strong and protect the enduring legacy of your people. So I know, you're probably looking at my character's name like, really? Look, I couldn't come up with anything else better. By the way, I did decide to go with the... Uh, the Night Warrior Eyes that I unlocked in BFA because I think that's a really cool customization feature. I mean, just it's so unique compared to other Night Elf models. So, anyways. So, as I've been mentioning, I, I did go through this in uh, WoW Classic because I did want to try out what a Druid was like in Classic. And in Classic, back in Vanilla, the only race that was capable of being a druid back in the day was a Night Elf. From what I understand, when this game was in beta back in the day, <laughs> think about that for a second. Uh, it's not like how an expansion is, like, we're actually they're actually about to go into beta for the Shadowlands expansion. But remember when WoW itself was in beta? And when Night Elves were added for people to try out and test out and such. From what I understand, this starting zone was nuts. It was crazy. Um, it was They were so popular. There were so many different ones. And then especially when they kept adding more class options for Night Elves. Like Night Elf Hunter. Um, I've heard that's very popular. And I say that, you know, you would think Night Elf Druid, with them being the only race capable of being a Druid back in Manila, would be popular if Night Elves, or rather if Druids were, you know, considered viable or popular back in the day. Don't get me wrong, if you understand, there were Druids used for endgame content in Vanilla, but they were not nearly as popular or desired compared to, say, a Mage or a Warrior, you know? Or a priest, or a paladin. In in terms, of, in case, in the case of the alliance, druids were not really that uh, considered good or strong back in the days of vanilla. When it came to like end game content, like raiding and such, um, they had some interesting stuff, like a build for uh, using bear and cat forms. That was a uh, you know, kind of a separate thing that you could make and do. So, let me go ahead and take a, take a moment to, uh, fortunately we don't have to worry about this stuff because 
well, Teldrassil these days is uh, not nearly as uh, popular for higher level players compared to Goldshire, Elwyn Forest. You're not going to find a lot of max level characters here in Teldrassil, partly because it's not around anymore. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah. I'm obviously referencing the uh, burning of Telrassil in BFA, so going through this feels a little awkward now these days, now knowing that eventually this place gets burned down. It just feels odd now these days. Ugh. But especially when you go through, because when you look at the map, this is the initial tutorial zone area. Now look at the rest of Teldrassil. So we've got a village here, a village here, um, another village here, and then we have Darnassus, a full populated city here within Teldrassil. There's a lot of people, a lot of people here, a lot of night elves. This is why a lot of us were in uproar when the burning of Teldrassil happened in BFA. Not because of the tree itself, but because of all the people. So, anyways, I felt that I had to mention that. I had to. So, before we get underway here, I also should mention that there is a big difference between going through this zone uh, here in Kata compared to what it was like in Vanilla. And that is that back in Vanilla, Malfurion was asleep again. So after the events of Frozen Throne, Malfurion actually went back to sleep into the Emerald Dream to deal with somebody by the name of Xavius and this force called the Emerald Nightmare. So while Malfurion was doing that, instead of, you know, in order to help run things for the Night Elf people, not just Tyrande, but there was this guy by the name of Fandral Staghelm. Some of you probably recognize that name. Yeah, he was the guy in charge running things for the Night Elves back in the days of Vanilla because Malfurion was asleep in the dream. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> However, in between Wrath and Kata, there was a book series that had come out, I believe it was called Storm Rage, where Malfurion actually dealt with Xavius. He actually killed him in those books, uh, having, you know, actually using his body as soil to... <clears throat> grow this tree. Tell yourself. Actually, well, actually, that's not entirely true. The, the, the whole thing with the growing of Teldrassil was actually partly Staghelm's fault. Um, because after the events of Warcraft 3, them losing that tree, um, losing their immortality, he grew a tree to help the Night Elves get their immortality back. But he also helped use it to help bring back Xavius because Staghelm became the first. Actually, was it Staghelm? No, it was Xavius. Xavius was the first satyr, and Staghelm uh, was basically one of his lackeys. Um, now we used to think that when Malfurion killed Xavius in the books, that that was it for Xavius, until Legion came out and we found out we were actually going to go into the Emerald Nightmare and deal with Xavius himself. But uh, during this point in time, Malfurion is now up and about. He's awake. He's up and about. We're actually going to get to meet him in Toronto at the end of the starter zone. But that's one of like the big differences between this zone now compared to what it was like in Vanilla. Is that in, that back in Vanilla, Staghelm was running things, whereas here in Kata, Malfurion and Toronto are running things. So, anyways, all right. So let's get underway here. Let's get. Yeah, well, well, we'll deal with that later. Uh, for now, you when you make a brand new druid, you start off with balance. So we're just going to uh, pick up some of the stuff here for balance. Don't think either one really matters. Just give me a second here, guys. Just be just be patient. Mm. 
do... I may end up switching. Because balance is fine, but I've never been too fond of the fat chicken. <laughs> I'm sorry if you like that, but it, I've just never really liked it that much. Ooh, this is actually apparently better, stat-wise, even though... That whereas this restores my health, the other one sacrifices health. What? <laughs> okay. Let's see. I think we are good to go on our heirlooms. So. But I think when we hit 10, we might switch to Feral. We could also just go Guardian, but, I, but we may just go Feral. Everybody loves Feral, right? Ah, greetings, Nelfneeks. I am Lithalane. Oh gosh, these night elf names. <laughs> this is gonna be rough. My purpose is in Shadow Glen is to train young druids like you and to ensure that the balance of nature is maintained. The spring rains were particularly heavy this year, causing some of the forest beasts to flourish while others suffered. Unfortunately, the night saber numbers grew too large, and they will devastate the other populations if they are not culled. Journey forth, young druid, and thin saber populations so that nature's harmony will be preserved. No. All right. I will say night elf hunters do have one of my favorite starting pets. It's a white tiger. I mean, that's awesome. So I, of course, messed with a Night Elf Druid back in WoW Classic to see what they were like. And I was surprised by a couple of their abilities. I did not know that they gave out some kind of uh, buff to other players. Like mages, priests, and warriors can. That surprised me. Oh, hold on. Gotta change my title. How ironic, a Night Elf is an ambassador. If you don't understand why I say that's ironic, well, I, I just, I don't know what to say at that point. I was kind of waiting to see if that player was gonna join in so they could also get credit. I don't know, I feel like some players just have this problem with sharing credit with other players. And I'm like, why? Why do you have a problem with sharing credit with other players? I don't get it. What brings you here? You performed your duties well, Nelfneeks. You seem to know what you are doing. Perhaps I can task you with something a little more important. As you may well know, the corruption in Teldrassil was supposedly wiped away, yet something lingers. The creatures have not calmed, and all manner of problems still plague us. I need you to deal with the Grelkin that have gathered to the west, and while you're there, I want you to search them for fell moss. This will help me determine from where this continuing corruption stems. So yeah, as I was mentioning, as I mentioned earlier, Teldrassil was made, but it had some corruption in it. Uh, of course, partly dealing with, mainly dealing with the Emerald uh, Nightmare. So. Hello. Staghelm. No relation, I'm sure. Vicious little Grell. They've been stealing from our food stores again. If you wouldn't mind lending a hand, they are sure to have my stolen bags within their camps to the west. I would be glad to reward you if you can bring them back to me. Let me get a bag. Goodbye. Sure. Obviously, we don't have any forms yet. Otherwise, I could just switch to cat form and just, you know, get underway. But then again, I do have this right here. If I wanted to, so. Oh, I should probably talk about the uh, racial stuff for the night elves. So, this is the night elf racial ability, Shadow Meld. Activate to slip into the shadows, reducing the chance. See, see how invisible I went? Stealthy. 
reducing the chance for enemies to detect your presence. It lasts until cancelled or upon moving. Any threat is restored versus enemies still in combat upon cancellation of this effect. So, what other racial abilities and such do they have? Elusiveness. Increases your speed while stealth is active by 5%. So, this... You can't really me move with your stealth because it breaks it. The only way this would really apply is if you are playing a night elf rogue. Because there aren't many other situations other than if I'm playing as a feral druid and I use the stealth ability, which I guess is one of the other ways that that would make sense. Donassian apparently is the language there. Nature resistance reduces nature damage taken by 1%. Quickness. Increases your chance to dodge melee and range attacks by 2% and your movement speed by 2%. Touch of Elune. Increases your haste by 1% during the night. Increases your critical strike by 1% during the day. And Wisp Spirit. Transform into a Wisp upon death. Increasing your speed by 75%. So you know how it takes forever to get back to your corpse when you die from the graveyard? As a Night Elf, you'll get there much faster. As a wisp. You know, being someone who has who right now mains a demon hunter on Alliance and end game content for BFA, it's happened where I've been like, oh man, it gets I get back there so much faster. So, anyways. Alright, and now I've got Moonfire! Dot. Dot. And they just eventually die. Alright. Tag him. Go ahead. Go ahead, tag him. There you go. There we go. He was able to get the tag on there. There we go. Alright, so I don't have to take down any of those. Now the problem is trying to find enough bags. Ah, there's one. Of course, as I mentioned, have mentioned before, this is the tutorial zone, so enemies are here are yellow not red. I'm out of range. But the only issue is trying to get to these bags uh, without kind of uh, interfering with other players. Now fortunately it looks like there are plenty of bags over here. So it's not going to be a huge deal. And it seems like some of these things do respawn pretty quickly so shouldn't be interfering that much. But yeah, this little area is this little tiny version. This, you know, that's Aldrasil. Because remember, we can't really look at Teldrassil because we are inside it. So, like, that's not Teldrassil right there. That's just Aldrasil. Just kind of this small little mini tree within the big tree. <laughs> I know, right? It's a mini tree within a big tree. Oh, Elune be praised. And you as well, young druid. There are many young night elves in need of these, but I would be more than happy to give you one of those bags as a reward. I'm sure we'll come in handy. Safe travels to you. Dear Nathis. We have our first bag. I'm listening. Your service to the creatures of Shadow Glen is worthy of reward, Elf Neeks. You confirmed my fears, however. The Grelkin are still tainted by fell moss, despite Teldrassil's blessing. Something sinister remains within the tree. I can only hope that the Gnarlpine tribe of Furbogs are free of the corruption, or we are still in grave danger. I will look into this further and contact those who might be of aid. Thank you, you. Thank you, Druid. Perhaps you'd be willing to aid us in further pursuing the corruption haunting Shadow Glen. Dentaria Silverglade, Priestess of the Moon, has offered to aid us. You should find her between the two pools just north of our great tree. Circle around the tree to reach her, and offer any help that you can, young druid. May the stars light. So this is that 
right here, this is the initial like trainer area right here. This is where you go to find some merchants very early on in case you want to go here and be like, hey, I want to like, you know, repair my stuff. I want to purchase this. I want to sell this, you know. I'll hold on to those for the moment, but I mean, we'll be getting regrowth soon, so it won't be that big a deal. Good luck, Yes. All right. Wasn't sure if I already had one. Pandaren, Leoxy, Monk Trainer! Night Elf Monks, I'm sure they exist. Mage, so fun little trivia. See, here's the thing. Cataclysm was the first time that Night Elf Mages became a thing. It probably was a request from players. However, the thing is, as I kind of discussed when we were going through the Blood Elf Starter Zone, part of the reason why there was such a rift between the Blood Elves and the Night Elves was because Night Elves considered arcane magic itself to be evil. Yeah, they, they looked very down upon arcane magic. Even though there were Night Elves that did practice arcane magic and was like, yeah, the magic itself is not evil. You know, you know that that's not the case. Basically, the idea is that if if you they did that behind closed doors, and it wasn't until recently in Cataclysm times where they said, "Look, militarily, we need those mages to to be a part of our military might. We need to welcome them in. We can't be shunning them like that. We have to let them feel welcome amongst our military forces." Because they would really help, and we're going to need them. Considering that at this time in Cataclysm, we were getting ready to deal with a lot of devastating, powerful forces, like the Twilight's Hammer and Deathwing and all that. It was like, okay, fine. We'll allow the mages to actually, you know, be a part of our forces. Because normally, in Night Elf culture and society, if you saw a Night Elf mage, like, if, like... Let's think of this from a role-playing standpoint. Let's say you create a Night Elf Mage. You know what? Like, if this was like a role-playing game, you know, like a single-player RPG, let's say you start here and you create a Night Elf Mage, and you're just walking through Darnassus. Do you know what people, what, like, NPCs should do when they see you, recognizing that you are a mage? They would spit on you. Or, like, shun you. Or, you know, like, throw things at you because you were someone who used arcane magic in Night Elf society, which they considered, like, a taboo, you know, a horrible, horrible thing. How dare you practice uh, a form of magic that we consider to be evil when it actually wasn't. But that's how they saw it because Night Elf society is very uh, narrow-minded, I should say. It could be a nice way of putting that. So the fact that there is just an open mage trainer here is a big sign of the change in times. That a mage trainer can just stand out here, out in the open, and not feel afraid. You know? Like, you'll notice also the druid trainer is, like, here by himself here. Because, of course, the druid trainers would have been, like, out in the open because... Well, you know, like I said, back in vanilla, on the Alliance, the only race that could be a druid was the Night Elves. If you wanted to be a druid, the only race that could be was on the Horde. It's just a little thing about Night Elf mages that I've always found interesting, especially whenever I've encountered Night Elf mages in the game. And I think to myself, do, do they even know, like, in lore, how taboo that actually is supposed to be <laughs> i mean that's part of the reason that they had such a conflict with the high elves was because of arcane magic because they thought oh you know arcane magic was used by the likes of their enemies and like the burning legion and such so therefore it's evil so. Elun be with you it is good that you have come it seems that your training progresses quickly our friend, Ivoron, has fallen to poison from the nearby webwood spiders. I contend him to keep his state from deteriorating. 
but I need someone to gather an ingredient to prepare him for an antidote. All around the ponds you should find moon petal lilies. These flowers have great healing properties, and I can use them with the ingredients I already have to restore Ivoron to better health. Would you gather them for me? There should be many just inside of here, near the water's edge. Go in peace. And yeah, they're pretty easy to spot. You can see a bunch of them around the pond here, so... Even with other players around, it shouldn't be that big a deal. So I mentioned how humans were a very popular race in certain regards to play on the Alliance. In a number of regards, the Night Elves are also an extremely popular race to play. I'll let that player get it. Oh, oh. Sorry. I don't want to be the guy who takes one from another player. Even though I need one more. There we go. But you'll usually see a lot of players making characters here. Peace be with you. Our dear friend is not doing well. Even with my mending. Have you brought the supplies I require? Oh, these will do perfectly. Thank you. Your swiftness is appreciated. I must ask something more dangerous of you. Strange news has traveled to me through the whisperings of the forest spirits. Oh, Iron's poison is cured, but it will take some time for him to recover. Forest spirits. The mysterious woodland protector, Tarindrala, has returned to Shadow Glen again. The Dryad's presence has not been felt in the forest since before the blessing of Teldrassil. Something is surely amiss if she has journeyed back to this land. Seek out Tarindula in the Shadow Thread Cave to the north. It is dangerous, but we will be prepared with this antidote just in case. May the stars guide you. Let me see if I can uh, trigger some... There it is! So, you saw that front flip that she just did? Oh, hello. What is nature's call? I see you found me, young night elf. Dentaria was wise to have sent you. There's regrowth. I had hoped to never return to tell yourself for such grim business. I'd hoped that its corruption had been wiped away completely. Something foul lingers. These spiders suffer much more deeply from the corruption than the other nearby wildlife. They are becoming a danger to your people and a danger to the forest. We must thin their numbers, but more importantly, we need to find the source of the corruption that plagues them. I will come with you and aid you in this. All right. So as I was saying, the flipping right there, well, being able to do that back then, that used to get the kind of like a gasp reaction, like, oh, <gasps> like, because not really many other races in the game were able to actually do some kind of flip whenever they jumped. Like, it, it randomly happens, but it actually happens quite often, you see? Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So, it was just kind of cool seeing characters do these flips. It was like, oh my gosh! So now we've got regrowth, so... Health shouldn't be an issue. Thin out the numbers of the spiders? Gladly. I'm out of range. 
Can you tell I'm pretty comfortable playing a druid? Yeah, Druid has always been one of my favorite characters. In fact, well, I'll actually kind of save that for when we get to our worgen, but a Druid was one of the very first characters that I ever made. I get the tag with Moonfire, which is a great dot. That's one of the reasons why I actually do like playing Balance sometimes, is just being able to apply a dot like dot. Look at this, running through with all these other players. Playing with a bunch of other players, what? <laughs> Trying to figure out how to make this joke. Is there trouble? A totem. This totem has been corrupting the eggs. It seems that a greater threat looms. The gnaw pine remains tainted by something most foul. This corruption the spiders suffer from is not simply surface deep. It cannot be magic or subtle m malintent. It is bred into them. It seems our task next task is clear. Yep. If these spiders are born with corruption uh, in their veins, then their broodmother must be at the root of this evil. Let us make our way to the far north end of the cave and seek out Gilfis the Vile. The answers we seek lie with her. There we go. We'll kill her again. Obviously, this is a little easy with the amount of players here doing this. Hi! There's that totem. We're being corrupted by this totem. This is a fur bog totem. This is very troubling indeed. This means that the Minar is still a danger to these forests. We let our guard down too soon. I will pursue the trail of the Gnarl Pine and track this corruption to its source. If you ever encounter... Othred... Oh, gosh. Ugh. Oops. Ah! Ugh. I'll stand over here. Let other players try and get credit. Ah, the great outdoors. Hi. Source. Bear Mantle in Dolinar, he knows intimately of the problems that plague this forest and he can direct you on how to help further. I'm sure that we will meet again with time. Perhaps you can aid me in dealing with the source of this corruption once I locate it. For now, I will take you back to Dentaria so that you may finish your training. Thank you for all that you have done. Ooh, that's nice. She just teleported me there. Hello. What brings you here? I think he meant to say druid, because otherwise that makes no sense. Which for a shaman is easier level with? Feral guarding or resto? Um, dude, I think he meant druid. You've returned. Oh, it's good to see you. It seems that you've dealt with the source of much of the corruption in Shadow Glen. Teldrassil still suffers and will need attention, but we can afford a moment or two for you to finish your training here in Shadow Glen. As part of a ritual to com complete your training here in Shadow Glen, you must learn about our recent history. There is a task that you must perform. Go to the Moonwell to our northeast and retrieve a file of its water. While there, you will witness a glimpse of our magics and learn of our past. When you are done there, bring the water back to me, and I will direct you further. Goddess, watch over you. The Moonwell is in the northeast on the other side of the pool and up the hill. What's funny is that some of their history is going to be completely ignored because, well, they'd rather just not even acknowledge its existence. 
I'll I'll mention I'll I'll talk about it later. Much has changed for our people since the Battle of Mount Hydra. Nordrasil lies a pale shadow of what it once was. Its power used to defeat Archimonde and drive back the Burning Legion. Our immortality, the very essence of our beings, was lost. The betrayer was freed from his prison, and Shando Storm Rage disappeared into the Emerald Dream. A dark time for all. To be continued. Just a just a little little thing there. Goddess bless you. Our recent history is fraught with strife and violence. There is still much with which we must come to terms. Well done. You have one task left for you before you depart Shadow Glen for the open wilds of Teldrassil. Tanarin Stormgrip oversees all that happens in this glade. He presides at the top of Aldrassil. If you look to your south, you will see the underside of the ramp that leads up to him. Ascend this ramp and complete your training. It was wonderful to have met you, Nelfnix. I swell with pride knowing that among young night elves, there are some so selfless and full of life as you are. You will do great things for our people. You will do great things for this world. Until we meet again. Elune, my children. Ascend the tree of Alderson. You know that at times it's hard for me to uh, consider demon hunters night elves, at least the night elf demon hunter ones. Don't get me wrong, I'm grateful to have Shadow Storm Range back, but this is really suspicious. What happened to Fandor? Shh! Someone's here! What happened to, Fan to Fandral Staghelm indeed? We find out later in Cataclysm. Ah, greetings, Druid. Peace be with you. The moon wells hold the waters of the Well of Eternity, the ancient source of magic that has wrought so many horrors upon our world. The druids take advantage of its properties. The sentinels revere the wells as shrines to Elun. And now, even the returning highborn look to the wells longingly. So, ha you have heard the first part of the aftermath of the Battle of Mount Hyjal. There is much more for you to learn, and the tasks you have begun here will continue through the rest of your journey through Teldrassil and into Darnassus. While there is more I could speak to you of the Moonwells and of Teldrassil, I must send you along. Corythras Moonrage will be expecting you. I have poured the vial of water you brought to me into this vessel to bring to him. Seek out Corythras. Corythras. You will find him at the Moonwell in Dolinar. Follow the road south from Al Aldrasil out of Shadow Glen, and continue to follow the cobblestones as the road turns west. Mind you stay on the road, though. There are dangerous beasts in the forest of late. Farewell. Take with you the blessing of the wind's embrace. Make it, may it make your descent from Aldrasil more direct. We. Again, we. I'm running in place, running in place, running in place. <laughs> Anyways, 
By the way, I don't know if you noticed that idle animation. Uh, that's become a very well-known and popular idle animation uh, amongst uh, female night elves. Just this, like, bouncy animation that they do. Some people like it. Some people don't like it. Some people make too big a deal out of it. Well, so before we head out, let's go ahead and double check. Let's see. That's a staff. Belt. There should be some gear. Let's go ahead. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, wait, that's the quest item. Oops. Let's get rid of that. Don't need that anymore. I've got regrowth. I'm a class that can actually heal. I do like that there are quests here to help uh, players learn more about the lore in place like this thing with the uh, the files at the moon wells to really let them know greetings young druid can you offer me aid i have a package of herbs that i must deliver to the town of dolinar but i still have business with the druids excuse me with the druids of shadow glen and cannot yet leave can you deliver this package for me it must be sent to innkeeper keldemir at the dolinar inn it lies along the road to the south of course i was actually just heading there So obviously now we leave the tutorial zone to head into the more open zone over here. Stay on the road! There are dangerous beasts here. Zen Falhof. So, this is a satyr. Remember I mentioned Xavius and Staghelm? Yeah. Alright, so this is that... Ah! I can't even pick up the quest now because that player turned it in. Arr, hashtag other players interfering. Okay. Quick. At least he quickly changed back so I could pick up the quest. Alright, so at least that's, a th that's good. Eager for work? I see. Lucky for you, a day never goes by that I don't wish I had a fledgling druid to perform my bidding. You see, I can make you very happy and provide you with things that you never dreamed of having. But in order for that to happen, you must bring me certain items. My business in the forest often requires certain regents. Fetch for me night saber fangs, stringed owl feathers, and swatches of webwood spider silk. Let's keep this our little secret, night elf. Yeah, yeah, I'll deal with you later. For now, let's head to the inn. And you know what? It's another reason why Night Elves are popular. They're a, they're a race that a lot of different transmogs look good on. You know, remember how I mentioned when we were going through the Tauren starting zone, how Taurens make a lot of transmogs look odd and weird? Night Elves don't really have that kind of a problem. Uh, we'll pick that up later. We're just going here just so I can uh, bound the hearthstone here and then we can uh, cut it off. Because so, there are some other things to pick up here. Here's the innkeeper. My goods are of the highest quality. How might I be of service? Ah, yes, the delivery of herbs from Shadow Glen. It's a shame. Poor Thanius could not bring it himself, for we have much to discuss, he and I. But I am glad to get the herbs nonetheless, and I am glad that you came. While you're here, please rest yourself. Heroes must keep their strength and spirits high, and must find rest and solace whenever they may. For to neglect one's peace of body and mind is a sure path to failure. So, rest. You know what? Hello. I think I will. But first, would you mind bounding my hearthstone here? But of course. There you are. Alright, so, rest. Yes, I think I will just do just that. Alright. We're going to take a nap, and then we'll come back to continue our questing in Teldrassil. Uh, stay tuned. <laughs> 